There's been a big issue worth fixing with my piano to LED interface and that is the lack of inputs on the piano. There's really just the keys and the pedals. Let's say I want the color to change as I play, I'll have to add a knob to the interface itself and that would make it horribly unusable. The very last thing you want to do while you're in a crazy piano playing flow is to stop playing just to fiddle with some knobs. So how do I fix this? The easiest way is to have auto changing color. Previously I've had each key press increment the color and it cycles continuously through the color wheel. This worked decently well since the color changes at the same rate as you're playing so it looks synchronized. The problem is the entire color wheel was in play and you didn't have much control over which colors displayed and when. Depending on your key signature and song you might only want a particular subset of colors. Let's say you're playing a song with a minor key, you might only want blues and purples. And if you're playing a song with a major key, you might only want yellows, oranges and pinks for example. Accuracy is a key, key, key feature for this interface, meaning that the lights should represent what's being played as closely as possible. So having the color match the mood or the vibe of the sound is pretty important. The solution I thought of and implemented was using the keyboard itself to set the range of colors. I added a button to the interface so when it's pressed and held down it records your key presses. The entire keyboard represents the color wheel and you could set the low and high colors. From there anything you play will be between those two colors. This is pretty cool but I think I could do better. I wanted to have more of a customizable color palette that is based on the notes you play. I used the sampling method as before but now I could set each note a different color. For example, I sample C and it's red. Now every C on the keyboard is red. I want D to be blue, E to be magenta, and so on. With this method I have full control over which notes are which colors and I can start to set different color palettes based on key signature or chords. Alright, that's it for now. If you think of any ideas, I'd love to hear them so leave me a comment down below. I'll be making a few more additions to the system before I get a PCB manufactured, so stay tuned for that.